Hello everybody and welcome to Man Meets Games. I'm Human and this is Rising World Unity Edition and it's uh, in beta so not a whole lot to do yet as far as survival. So I have that set up. Ah, the menus. Here they are. They look a lot better actually. I didn't even notice these side tabs the last time I was playing. Um, we got quite a bit we can work with as per usual with this game. Modern bench, workbench, primitive, which we have next to us. Blueprint table, anvil, you name it, we have it. And I wanted to play this on the, uh, ooh, lots of stuff. I really kind of was wanting to play this on the Java branch. You know, just to kind of, you can pick this up by holding F and then bring this down and hold your mouse button and pick it up. I'm picking up it all. I like to steal stuff. So anyway, I was requested to play the Unity uh, version to show you guys a little bit more on uh, what you can and can't do, how it looks, etc, etc. So I th thought, why the heck not? We're going to steal all this real quick and then we're going to move on down the road a little bit and I'm going to mine on my way, but might as well take a few things. I kind of like this feature being on the Still, it's not really stilling because you know we own this land, and there's no water, no animals, hence why I'm just running through the building aspects. I could have turned on instant digging, but come on, this is a uh, me we're talking about. I like a little tactile. We're not taking it all, just a few things here and there. Okay, I want to go ahead and start working on some stone because that's going to be one of those things to build with. So we might as well get some of this mined out real quick and take it with us. And we'll go get some of that fine, fine metal ore that's just a little bit down the road too. This looks so much better. I, I can't wait till it gets fully realized. That way we can have our entire uh, survival experience too. I know they don't really lean on heavy survival for this game. They're more about the creativity and building aspects, but a little hunger and a little bit of water go a long way to make you want to farm and hunt down animals. It gives you a reason to do stuff like that. Besides just whacking holes in the mountains all day. Okay, so that's pretty good there. It gives us uh, 27. We can work with that for just a minute. And we'll head on to another area. Um, let's see here. Is this going to give me more stone than that? Yeah, that gives me 8. So let's go ahead and steal up a few more of these things. Might steal that big old bonfire too. Let's uh, take that up. Yeah, nothing like a hot bonfire in my pocket. We'll leave all this. We'll need to see the... Uh, tunnel. Here's some more stone for us. And we do have an axe. It is with us. And it's right there in the number two slot. Personally, I'm a number one, number two guy. There we go. And I'm sorry if the, uh, I don't know if I'm, what I'm going to do for the thumbnail yet. I could just use utilize the old one. But I'm needing to make a new one, so uh, maybe we'll get a good screenshot at some point while I'm doing all the building. See, these nodes give you better stone than the uh, side of the mountain does, which is weird. We're at 144. Yeah, that's something to work with. Also, uh, what's really cool is... Bam! That's kind of neat. The breaking physics are cool. I take it. Okay, that's another little bit of iron. And then up we go. The sounds are amazing. The echo in there was great. Alright, welcome to our uh, build zone. It's, you know, what do you expect? It's Rising World. It's a uh, healy, rocky terrain. There's some stuff we can explore. If we turn on fly, we'll find it a lot faster, but I'm just kind of going through the building right now, like I said. Uh, a little bit of mining, of course, because we can't do anything without all the resources. 
Just gotta go from ruin resource to the other. As per how we do things. I can imagine playing this in multiplayer and a whole team of us going at it. Alright? That's what I'm working towards. I want to find a game where we can do these things. And if this one was already in Unity, this would be awesome. But it's not in Unity yet. This is just the test branch. And I want to have a reason for it. I want to do everything with you guys. Like, literally, mine, farm, set up an entire village type of thing. It'd be awesome. I've got things in motion for that. Just got to pick the game. I was even thinking Valheim at one point. That one's fun. I don't know how much you guys like Valheim or not. It's kind of falling out of favor. It's a lot of grinding, though. But I don't mind grinding. Especially if it's a team. I'm like a lump. I'm, I'm the walking equivalent of a uh, environmental hazard, according to my wife. When we play all these games, she leaves for like five minutes and comes back to an entire forest gone. So... I just get really, really focused on what I'm doing. And I've got most of these games figured out on how many thwacks it takes. So I kind of go off of that too. We're going to have a lot of resources to start with. We're going to go down to that campfire and set up, set up down here. It's a little bit flatter. As you can see. Make it easier for us. Kind of divots down. We can get a rake in and flatten her up. Alright, first thing we're going to do is uh, place that workbench wherever that thing went. Number three. Number three. And it's going to be rotate with the arrow keys. i got to get used to that. And place that down. Uh, four. I just want to get rid of you. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, and five. We're going to have all the light over here. We're not going to lose our camp. We'll move all this stuff around too. We're, we're, we're working people over here. Okay, so we can come over and craft up a primitive smelting furnace. Close this out with escape and get this furnace going. Uh, I kind of wish I... Hang on, let's uh, do this thing first. Tools and wood rake. I just need 16 sticks. There we go. And go back to tools. Wooden rake. Oh, I need a regular workbench, don't I? Crap. So I need to make those ironing hits anyway. So that's fine. Okay, we'll just place her right over here. Uh, rotate it. I'm going to have it like this, an angle, and bring it back. There we go. Aha! You bench can go away. See, I knew I was going to have to move some stuff. Actually, could put it back a little bit and just leave it right about there. That'll work. And we can access that spot. And go ahead and go crafting and general lumber go to max I need to be next to the primitive workbench for this now there we go and get this iron ore moved over get this thing full just gotta hold it down which is handy dandy probably gonna be enough with that okay iron ore here we go that one cool and if we want to do this a little faster you can always go into your workbenches and get two of the furnaces going move this one over into four and now flank the forges Let's see yeah that one will work right there cool and we'll see which splat was it. Yeah, three. We're going to have to cut a bunch more lumber, of course. 
But, you know, nature of the game. Okay, and then five. Ah, there we go. That works for me. Works for you. I hope so. Let's get these rocks out of the way. Get those ingots up and going so we can get a regular workbench. And we can start really flattening out our area. Okay, there's a little stone. Uh, let's see if I can make anything over here. Alright. Building wood shingles through all of that. And then fabric miscellaneous. Plaster asphalt, concrete, marble, bricks. Need regular workbench. Stone. Do we have anything I can make in stone? Wood, stone. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a regular workbench before I can make anything for us. As far as uh, getting a build going, so I'm gonna go chop down a few trees. Make sure that the furnaces are good and hot. Yep. I'm gonna chop down some trees, and we'll uh, come back, and hopefully we'll have some ingots to work with. Alright, I don't know if the smelters are done yet or not, but I got a bunch more ore and a bunch more rock to work with, so... This is actually nice looking. Wish I could just clear my inventory out for just a second, please. Yes, now hide the screen, please. In a couple more seconds. Please. I'm gonna take a screenshot. And... Can we hide the HUD? Let's see, uh, settings, controls, actions, primary, crafting, blueprints, journal, drop, scroll, zoom, fly mode. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Jesus. Okay, miscellaneous screenshot, F12. Wish you could hide the HUD. Okay, so we'll just uh, have to deal with that. And F12. Yes, I can fix that in post. Cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, nope. It's still not done, and that's not done. Takes them a minute. All right. Um. Let's see. What can we craft here? Primitive axe, workbench. We could craft anything over here. Just uh, can only do this. Wait on that. Old chest, workbench. Jesus. Oh, I can do primitive. Nice. Alright, and firearms. Don't need the spears. Birds are the only thing that are in here so far, I think. Crafting, and then... Electricity somewhere in here somewhere at some point. That'll be nice. There's our ingots. Can't touch them just yet. They'll say too hot. Jesus. Okay. Ah, no, off. Still too hot. Jesus. It's too easy to turn them lock on. Okay. And get this back over here. That one's running. This one should be done. It's not too bad, actually. I like it. Cool little system. You just imagine people running around. Anyway, we're getting close to that point. Get this go. And back in here. Workbench. I need more lumber, which I can do real quick. Lumber. Max crafting workbench craft, and that should be in my number four slot. Cool. So I'm thinking about picking you up. Come here, I don't need you anymore. We'll put you somewhere else. Kind of want this uh, overlapping a little bit. 
not as part of it, just kind of overlapping a little. Just, just hair. There we go. Yes. Extendo bench. What can we make? Uh, let's see, we got that. Just need an anvil. I'll have the iron ingot soon. Let's do some uh, stone here. What do we want? I want a lighter stone? Yeah, that's not bad. Pretty dark. Real dark. Hmm. That's castle worthy. I'll give it that. And yeah, we'll do uh, this bit. Let's see how many can we do. Let's do 60. Or 100. Ah, let's do 60. Select shape. Blocks. Let's just do blocks on this one and we're, we'll keep it simple. Craft item. Cool. Now for the actual flooring. Flooring. Match that up with not sandstone. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit better. That's uh, not bad at all. So we'll do another 60 here. And craft item. Okay. That should be 60 and 60. Cool. I need to make the rake, actually. Uh, tools and wooden rake. We'll make a... Do we have a... Cultivator? I guess we don't make a metal one anymore. There's the... No, modern. Okay, we, we make that one still. Okay, that's all I needed. And get this over here. I kind of know what I'm doing. And then... Just gotta rake it up. Flattens it out. Should flatten it better than that. It worked better in the uh, Java version. Four. Still got it, okay. Not too bad. It's a little slower, but it'll work. It's what I like about these games. You can get them all terraform, build your base up straight as you can, as level as you want, makes it easier. I'm just playing around right now, if this was a regular recording I'd probably pause and do an extremely long, you know, bit of leveling out, but I don't need that much, just want to get, see that should be a little bit better than that, but this works. Yeah, that works out just fine. See, that works really well, actually. Better than I thought. So down is to dig, and I guess... Yeah, that just levels it up to your current. Should anyway. Yeah, now it is. Cool. You have to do a little bit at a time, though. Looks like, yeah. Okay. I can dig that. Ha, <laughs> dig that. Okay, and get this a little bit over here and call that good for now. We don't need a heck of a lot. Okay. Uh, want this one first. Right? Yeah, that one first. Okay. I do like these grids, so we'll place this one here, and I think you can, yeah, hold and drag, and then click to place. Hold and drag, click to place. It's working really well, I like it. Just keeping it small for now, nice little, uh... test of it. 
Looks pretty good, actually. We can do scaffolding, too, which, uh, let's see. Let's see if we have that. Uh, work pigeon build. Furniture. Ladders. Barriers. I guess we do not have scaffolding anymore. We had scaffolding at one time. It's got taken away. I guess now we just have, like, ladders to work with. Tables, chairs, lights, ladders. Eh, craft object. Okay, and that should be down here. I mean, it'll work. I can move it around and climb up and down, maybe. Let me snap in properly. There we go, and climb. There we go. Uh, four. Okay, is that tall enough? No, it's not. Okay, so to pick it up, I guess... Can't pick it up, I'm gonna have to mine it out. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. This is a learning experience. There we go. A little tricky there. And we're gonna be out of uh, these blocks soon. That's okay. I'm just doing a nice little quick wall here. That's good. Let's see, and then five. This should look pretty good. So place and drag and drag. Dang it, forgot to click it. Okay. I'll get there eventually, I'll learn. The blocks look amazing, actually. I like it. Once I get this grid out of the way, you'll see. There we go. Look how much... Look how nice that is. That The lighting effects on that. Yeah, that's real sick looking, actually. I like it. So that's your basic building. Not complete. But you know how it goes. We're just kind of playing around. And we picked, what, that stone? I want to see it was that stone. Yep, so we're going to select... Bring this down a little bit because I want some more floor here. 60 again, select shape, block, craft. And come back down. And... Do 17 more, select shape. And I kind of want to do... This, and then... Coming back over here, we might as well play around. I'm going to craft one of these, and we are going to just play around. That's all. I want to see what this looks like. So five. Oh, that'd be cool. Nice little round bull. Uh, let's see. Oh, that'd be cool. Drop it down. Put a pipe here, paint it. That'd be a barbershop topper. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, guys. Sorry about that. But that'd be a perfect barber shop topper. Cool. Remember the Alamo. This thing is, uh... Sturdy. And I think we're gonna be uh, close to out here in a second. But I want to try seeing about the... Roof section. How that looks. See the lighting effects are starting to change too, which is nice. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, that's everything we got there. And got these here. Student works for me. And we'll just, uh, drop beam there. Just to kind of add something. And now it's once the grid system is nice I can work with that oh, I'm out of stuff all right and then we'll place 
all this stuff around here. Just kind of make it look good. We got enough of it. It's not like I'm a thief. Okay, I think we'll just place this bench right here. On the outside. Kind of, ooh. That's creepy. Kind of wants to clip into stuff, which is really cool. Wants to naturally want to clip in. Uh, barrel can go on this side. Hmm. That looks a little bit cluttered. That's fine. We'll place uh, this on the inside here. Doesn't work. Bonfire. Can be placed over here. I know. I need to level out this ground. Uh, da -da -da. Get out of my inventory. Let's turn you on just to have you on. And what else do we got? Another campfire, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Cool. That is so much nicer than just uh, about any other game where you can move around everything. The furnace has no fuel. I knew. I'm sorry. Got a couple more minutes, so before I wrap up, but I do like this. I really do. I can't wait to see the Unity Burners in this complete. Need an anvil, which I can craft. Craft object. And I need iron plates. So we'll place this anvil. Oops. Right here. Iron plates. Max. I just need a lot more iron plates. I'll tell you that much. I'm at 12. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna need more iron plates if I'm gonna make that workbench just to continue on with this, but I think that's all the time I have for you on this one. Uh, if you would like to see more of uh, Rising World, please let me know, and I would be glad to come back to it and uh, take another screenshot. I'd be glad to come back to it when it becomes either unity or i would be glad to play it in java version there are some bugs there but i think we could still have a little bit of fun and if you have a game in mind for any kind of server that i could start up and get us going as a uh, community kind of build a city let me know in the comments below and i'll look into it i wouldn't mind hosting it so in the meantime if you haven't already hit that button like and subscribe below if you have. Thank you so much. We're up to 150 the last I checked, so this is amazing. I would love to go up for a thousand by the end of the year. But I'll take what I can get. You guys are amazing. Peace out, y'all, and have a good one, and happy gaming.